To calculate lung compliance, the equation is the change in volume over the change in pressure. The unit of measurement on the numerator, the volume, is in liters or milliliters, and then the change in pressure is in centimeters of water pressure. The terminologies that we will use for calculating lung compliance will differ. So take a look at these uh, uh, defin uh, not definition, but terminologies uh, with regards to calculating lung compliance. So first, in order to calculate dynamic compliance, the change in volumes will be the same, it's in uh, liters or milliliters. However, the change in pressure basically is PIP minus PEEP. In our example, the numerator will be 500 mLs over 20 centimeters of water pressure minus zero. In this particular case, we will just assume that PEEP is zero unless otherwise in, uh, indicated. So basically, 500 over 20 is equal to 25 mLs per centimeters of water pressure. This is basically the dynamic compliance. To calculate static compliance, the change in pressure instead of the PIP or the peak inspiratory pressure is now the plateau pressure. Basically the plateau pressure is what is the pressure needed to open up the lungs without any air movement, thereby creating a plateau. So in this case, the example is a tidal volume of 400, again, mLs, over 10 minus 0. You have 400 over 10. And your answer is 40 mLs per centimeters of water pressure. Again, this uh, presentation is just for the calculations only. Please refer to your textbook, Egan's Fundamentals of Respiratory Care, to know the actual definitions of lung compliance, dynamic compliance, and static compliance.